You've heard for years that the American welfare state is unsustainable. Now some new numbers bear that out. Here's correspondent Doug McElwain. The dry language of the Census Bureau September report belies what some fear is a ticking time bomb of a federal government that's facing a looming crisis in health care and other insurance costs. It finds that 37.3 percent of Americans now get their health insurance from the government, a number that's driven in part by Obamacare's expansion of Medicare and Medicaid and by the aging of the baby boomers. As with any generation, as they get older, they get sicker and incur more costs. The amount of resources that are already committed to public insurance is very, very high and growing. And as the population ages and you have more people going into Medicare and Medicaid, there's a, there, we're on the verge of a cost explosion for the federal government. It's not just Medicaid, estimated at $574 billion in 2016, or Medicare, $692 billion. Social Security ranked highest among entitlements at $910 billion. Into the future, Medicare faces close to $50 trillion in unfunded liabilities, and that doesn't factor in the threat of rising interest rates. Right now, under current projections, given very low interest rates, we're already on track for for interest on the debt to surpass what we spend on national defense. The federal government funds an increasing array of other insurance programs, $3 trillion in loan guarantees for banks who lend money to other countries. If a foreign borrower defaults, U.S. taxpayers get stuck with the bill. The National Flood Insurance Program is over $25 billion in debt and continues to insure properties that have been destroyed by storms again and again. The National Flood Insurance Program actually makes the devastation caused by hurricanes such as Harvey and Irma much worse because it encourages through subsidies for people to build in flood prone areas and continue rebuilding in those areas and so we end up having too many homes in areas where it should never be built only because the federal government is subsidizing this activity. There is also government mortgage backed securities which helped precipitate the financial crisis of 2008. The programs still exist. And then there is the moral hazard associated with all these government insurance programs, whether it's the precarious condition of one's own body or the precarious condition of one's seaside home. Human nature suggests that people are less inclined to make good choices knowing that taxpayers will foot the repair bills for bad choices.